Our hero thought but of treasure ahead, did not consider the peace of the dead. Through the dark he went creeping, and awoke what was sleeping. A new grave they dug, which he himself fed. Ah, greed, my favorite virtue. I've grown quite fond of you, you know, in my way. I thought it only fair to warn you about the dangers ahead. Oh, <laughs> we both know they are soon to be revealed. It would be pointless of me to try to bar you from entering, but I can set the scene, as it were, prepare you for your role. There is a stage down in the dark, upon which a great drama has suspended itself in time. Its actors dwell there still, mired in the languor of their long, tired scenes. If you, however, through the dark, go creeping and awake what is sleeping, chances are many more graves than yours alone will soon be fed. Very well. There is a creature that lurks in silence and shadow. A creature who, like me, is very much of the infernal persuasion. Should it make its way out through the very doors you are about to brazenly swing open, you'll have unleashed a pestilence upon this realm. In truth, it is carnage incarnate. So if you meet the devil of which I speak, kill it. Consider no other course of action. Listen here, Pipsqueak. Do not underestimate this opponent. At best, you will have the blink of an eye to strike. Strike first, strike true, defy the odds, for they are distinctly in its favor. That much I owe the bastard to concede. Wait. Before you go, I have a proposal of my own. A proposal? <laughs> if you're hoping to taste my blood, little vampling, think again. It burns hotter than wyvern whiskey. This is serious business, devil. My old... Well, a long time ago, someone carved some runes into my back. I'd rather like to know what they say. It's something of great importance to your master. But is it a love letter, a warning, or a deed of ownership? I can give you all the gory details, and I will. Once the beast that lurks below is vanquished and sent back to the hell. You haven't told them, and you've kept your clothes on this whole time. How unlike you. Why not let them see? Don't be shy. God damn it. Don't pout, Spawn. Just destroy the beast. And I'll happily reveal your secrets, instead of your skin. Yes, fine. We'll kill this damn creature of yours. Then we have an understanding. I look forward to our next meeting. Scars often tell such wonderful stories. I think yours might be truly exquisite. Well... Now you know. Cazador worked on it from dusk until dawn. All with an ancient blade he called his needle. <laughs> Cutting and tearing. 
starting over if I screamed or winced too much. It was a rough night. But what's done is done. So how about we stop discussing it and just kill this beast? Although I should probably get dressed first. <laughs> What can I do for you? I'd trust a devil over a vampire any day. I think he likes us. <laughs> Am I not the very definition of careful? <laughs> you never asked me to take my shirt off. I always thought they were a sign of my humiliation. I never realized there might be more to them. But Raphael told us he can make the impossible come true. I have to try my luck. I used to just be sickened, thinking it was his sadistic pleasure. But there's more. There was method to it. The depravity of the act was a distraction. I have to get to the truth of it. Sigils. Attempts to restrain Lady Shah's power. I'm listening. There's a temple under this place. And something deadly sealed inside it. Bones everywhere. Someone's been engaging in dark rituals here. Catherick Thorm's ancestors, desecrated and arranged into the ancestors of Catherick Thorm, arranged but into why? macabre totems. But why? What's hiding here? Don't mind if I do. Patrick Thorne's forebears. He defiled their remains to make this effigy. But to what end? That's the symbol of Mark. 
Marco. Catherick Thorne dishonored the very bones of his ancestors to make this totem to Merkel. a Sharon army. He's hiding his own past, just as he's keeping pieces of yours. Catherick lost his daughter, but the bastard knows why you lost everything. Moonrise Towers. It makes the urge hiss within. It was part of your disgrace. But how, Catherick, helming a Sharon army? He's hiding his own past, just as he's keeping pieces of yours. Distance, darling.
Let's get going. That disc must be the way forward. Where will it bring us, though? eyes the dark lady guided me here she she wanted me to find this place Shah, singer of eternal night, protector of the lost and forgotten. Cross from light into darkness. Give your life to the shadows. Offer your pain to Shah's embrace. Hear the night song. The answer lies in darkness. Only loss awaits the world. Is that Shah herself who speaks? is not around, so it might as well. The answer lies in darkness. Oh. That hit the spot. on my mind and well in it
At least things have stayed interesting. Is that blood? No, never mind. Welcome, child. Follow my voice and prove your worth. Night comes in a thousand falling leaves. Not belong here. Your mind upends. Somehow, in the decayed soup of this creature's brain, a tadpole lives. Another presence nurtures it, manipulates it like a puppet. No, you do not belong. This is the Dark Lady's house. She is no use for old, faithless bones. You plunder. You. You upset my plans. Leave. I am their creator. I saved them from life. From death. From their skin and their flesh. Now they serve me. Leave before... Stupid worm infested cockhead! You have awoken the shadows! My forces are split. The defenses are thin! Rally on me, a wall of bone and blade against the darkness. Now! Why did Lady Shaw's dead attack?
for the ages. Sometimes the only way out is through.
Lady Shaw. On the altar is an inscription. Brave the gauntlet of your Lady Shah, surmount her trials, and rise a dark justicia. The gauntlet of Shah. This place is legendary. Even with half my memories locked away, I still remember the stories. The Dark Lady's finest warriors arose from this place. Now I'm here. In order to join Lady Shah's elite, you had to pass her trials. Then make a sacrifice in her innermost sanctum. One revealed only when you've proven yourself. Very few made it that far. I've dreamed of this place. This is my destiny. I must complete the trials. You know me better than most, but I need to find out if I'm worthy. If I prove myself to Lady Shah, she'll bless me with power. Power we can use to take on the Absolute and rid ourselves of these parasites once and for all. Let's explore. Brave the gaunt. There's nothing more for us to do here. There are recesses on the altar that look intent. Brave the gauntlet of Lady Shah. Test body, mind, and spirit with her trials. Glory awaits the few who succeed. I do like Nice. A homie. This is a dedication to my goddess's power and dark beauty. Homie is not the head inside.
this is worth the cost. Chances. for peace. Get in for the day, I think.
Not just any true soul would have succeeded in following my path through this place. You should be pleased. General Thor. Rubbish. Everything is at hand here. Zarel merely envies the General's faith in me. I am in the midst of a grand strategy. But you're here now, and I may be able to put those limbs to work. You know what's at stake here. I take it. comes back to you. Balthazar headed a monastic order that controlled a place called Amkethran in the deserts of Kalimshan, but he is long dead from what you recall. Oh, him. Yes, I decided to take his name for myself. After taking his rib bones. Suits me better, I think. But enough idle chatter. Keep to the matter at hand. You do know what's at stake here. Yes? I do not cower. I plan. I command. I create. General Thorn trusts me. He knows I will deliver. He knows I will stand by him long after all others wilt and fall. You. Zarel, all the rest. You have only one body with which to serve. I have as many as I care to make. There is a relic here, one which General Thorn desires. No, needs. I will retrieve it for him, and you will help me. Ignorant you may be, you've shown some prowess in scouting and combat by making it this far. Fine, if it'll spare me your bleating. The relic lends the general his strength, his invulnerability. It must be recovered before his enemies attempt to exploit it. I do not need you or your help, but you are here in spite of that, so I may as well make use of you. The relic is close, but the way is barred and Shah's dead are uncooperative. Clear the path for me by blade, cunning, or whatever it takes. I will remain here until you have succeeded, or fallen. I trust this gas bag about as far as I can throw him, which isn't far. But perhaps better to play along, for now. I will assign flesh to aid you on your way. Ring this bell, and he will come. <sighs> My brother is no intellectual powerhouse, but he is strong, loyal, and punctual. Should a fight turn against you, remember the bell. In part, yes. My poor, unborn twin. Mother always resented me for it, said I strangled him in the womb. If you can believe such tripe. Besides, once I developed my powers, I fetched him from the graveyard and brought him back. Gave him a new, better body. Alas, Mother was not pleased. We're still close. She's in a jar on the shelf. Over there. My creations need tending to. Not that it's any of your concern. 
This one's broken. He once tormented me as a youth, lifetimes ago. Now he serves me forever. No rest for you yet, Mikan. You will serve me until I am satisfied. This is not a problem. It is an opportunity. And it is not a choice either. You will obey. Go then. You'll be back. Once you've had another taste of Shah's hospitality. And I don't want white marks on it. I said you'd be back. Reconsidered my proposition. Flesh will remain here until Kork. But don't fear, he has very sharp hearing. I chose his ears myself. Now, get to work. 